Hi, Miss Laura here. Uh, today we're going to learn the last part of our rhyming prayer for meals. So we have been practicing it and we have the motions and I bet you have the motions down at home. So we're going to go over it and then we're going to talk about the last part. Lord Jesus Christ, great and good. Thank you for this daily food. Bless us now as we pray, guide and keep us through this day. Amen. So we've talked about everything except the very last line, which is guide and keep us through this day. So we are crossing our arms over our chest when we say that um, because we're asking him to um, kind of embrace us and help us guide and keep us through this day. So we're kind of asking Jesus to um, hold on to us through the whole day. So we are asking for him to guide us. That means show us what to do. We sometimes come across things that we're not really sure what's the right thing to do. And we're like, well, we could do this or we could do this. And we're not sure which one to do. We're asking for Jesus to help us know. We're asking for his guidance. And then keep us. That's like hold on to us. And Jesus promises that he's going to do those things in the Bible. So we can trust that he'll answer our prayer. So we say, guide and keep us through this day. And um, I like to think of the song from VBS a couple years ago, My Lighthouse. And it's about how Jesus is like a lighthouse. A lighthouse uses its bright light to guide ships um, to the shore so that the ships can see where they're going. And that's kind of how Jesus helps us. He is the light of the world. That's something that he calls himself in the Bible. And he gives us light like we're in a dark room and we're not sure where we are or what to do sometimes but he gives us light and he guides us so he's kind of like our lighthouse and so when we say guide and keep us through this day we're trusting that he's there and that he's able to help us out um, and then sometimes we need guidance because maybe we know what the right thing to do is but it's really hard to do or we just we just don't want to do it we want to do the wrong thing sometimes it happens to all of us, trust me. So we're asking for his guidance and helping us be strong and choose the right thing to do. Now, the keep us part works with this too because sometimes we do make that wrong choice. Maybe we do something bad, rude, we sin, we make a mistake by accident sometimes, or we do something on purpose. And Jesus still keeps us. He's not going to let go of us. He's going to guide and keep us through this day. So when we pray this prayer, we know that Jesus is going to be faithful and answer it. And so the very, very last word of the prayer is amen. And that actually comes from a Hebrew word that has to do with something being true. And so when we say amen, it's like we're saying, let it be so, or, you know, I agree with that, or, you know, truly something like that a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain in English, but um, it's kind of just a really good way to end our prayers um, to just really show God, we really mean it. We're really saying this, we say, amen. So let's go through the prayer one more time. Lord Jesus Christ, great and good, thank you for this daily food. Bless us now as we pray, guide and keep us through this day. Amen. So I am in prayer for all of you and I miss all of you so much. I hope that you are doing well and I can't wait to see your lovely faces when we return.